Hello, today I'm gonna read this book that's called Ripple Skin Returns. And I hope you enjoy this book. And if you uh, if you like this book, uh, you can subscribe and like my channel. So I can do life. And then I'm gonna read I'm gonna read this book for you now. Chapter one. As I was walking home from school one day, I heard a voice calling, "Help me!" It, I looked around. Around there was no one there. Help me! The voice cried. Help! This big stone is on my top of me. It looked down and saw the big stone. Then I saw a little brown foot stick sticking out of um, out under it. So I rolled that big stone out of the way. Out pooped. A funny little man. He looked like his arms and legs had been made out of sticks, and his hair was like yellow candy floss. You've helped old Ripple Skin, the little man said. Now it's my turn to help you. Help me, I say. How? Any way you want. I'm. Your service now. When you got to work to do, I do it for you. From now on, you can just have fun. What about my mom? I said. I really wasn't sure what she had to say about Rupert moving in with us. She won't see me, he said. No one will. It's be our secret. All right, I said. It is a deal. I'm thirsty, cause I read this book. I read this book for Papa, Papa, and I'm tired. I'm thirsty. Thirst, thirsty. So I'm gonna. Um, <laughs> I don't know what to say. Uh, on English, you I don't. Need, you need to drink. I need to drink. Just don't ever thank me. I hate if people say thank you. Rumpelstiltskin said. Then I, in a flash of light, he was gone. Chapter two. Tidy your room, Mom called out as I went up, up the stairs. I smiled to myself. T time to call on uh, Rumpelstiltskin. But Rumpelstiltskin had got there ahead of me. Everything was so neat and tidy. I didn't look like my room at all. I got out of my homework. Today it was math. I rubbish that math Rumpelstiltskin had done it for me. And I can, if I, should I say why I do this? Because I see the math now. Two times three, six. One, eh, uh, I don't know what to say. Three times t three nine. Twelve times twelve one hundred and forty four. That's right. Next day at school, I got ten out of ten for my home, uh, for my homework. But the teacher didn't think I've done it all by my, myself. I had to stay in that playtime and do it all over again. So, so she wouldn't watch me do it. I still got the answers right. Luckily, after school we play football and usually rubber chat football. And that that day I scored a goal after goal. No one would get the ball of me. Whatever I'm, I am for go the goal. The ball went in. I knew it was a rubber skin doing it, but nobody else would see him. In the end, everyone got fed up and went home. I was angry, so I shouted out to Rumpelstiltskin. I want a word with you. When I want your help, I ask for it. No need to ask. He said, "I do all the work. You have all the fun. That was our idea. Football is fun." I said. 
It looked more like hard work to me, he replied. Chapter 3. Every day, Rumpelskin made my bed and cleared my shoes. He tied my room and he did my homework. He weeded the, the garden and moved the lawn. And then for upwashed he, he, he cleaned the car for mom. Oh my gosh. My parents thought uh, I was go doing it all. They told all their friends about me and I was uh, top of the class. Rumpelstein, I am, I don't want you to be my servant anymore. You said I would be your servant if I want, he said. And I do, I want to be your servant forever. I didn't want proper skin to be my servant forever and ever. What would I do? Chapter 4. There had to be something I would do do on my own where proper skin wouldn't help me. Parents, there, then he leave me alone. I thought about it and I thought and thought. One day I had an idea and entered for a summer fun run. I'd rubbish at running. I knew I wouldn't win. I couldn't win at rubber skin wouldn't make wouldn't make me. Couldn't make me. He had ha have to pick me up and carry me if he wanted to me me to win. Then people would see him. I didn't think he wanted that. Chapter 5. The day of the race comes. The starter raised out his pistol. Ready, steady, go! Two of the runners fell over their own feet. Someone had tied their, uh, their legs together. Guess who? When then two runners started fighting, each of them uh, said that the other had punished him in the ribs. I knew who it, it really was. Another was stung by a wasp, and I had to go the, to the first aid tent. Uh, this didn't look good. What the? I set off with the rest of the runners, following the signs down the path. I passed the runners who lost a shoe in the mud and others. Uh, who sprained their ankles or tripped over and grazed their knees. I saw signs swing around then back again after the runners ahead of me had turned the wrong way. It, in the end, I stopped and I sat down. Rumble skins, I yelled, I'm not moving till you promise to let me finish this leg race by myself. No more tricks. I can do it on my own. Thanks very much. I don't need but any help from you. What did you say? Uh, asked Rumpelstein. You say thank very much. Did it tell you not to thank me? He yelled. If there's one thing I can't stand, it's people thanking me. He stomped his foot. I won't be thanked. I won't want. You get no more help from Rumpelstein. He started spinning round and round. You can tidy your, your own room and do your own homework. He yelled. He was spinning so fast now. He was just a blur. Then in a flash he was gone. I wouldn't still hear him shooting. You will never see a rubber skin again. Thanks very much. I yelled back just to make sure that I never did. And that was all for this book and I uh, liked this book. It was fun and easy to read and good. It was good and I'm gonna say bye bye.